Rodney Sanders, hot off the heels of the KO victory, and you're right back into victory lane here at Lakeside Speedway. What an incredible performance out there. Yeah, you know, this uh, Get Us Powered MB Custom was really fast tonight. I mean, I mean, we, uh, you know, we're, I think we're probably going to run third if it wasn't for a late, late race yellow, but, uh, you know, we took it to our advantage, and, uh, yeah, the racetrack was awesome. I mean, great job to the guys that, you know, prepped the track that was awesome. I mean, I couldn't do it without Wichita Tank Racing, Swan Energy, Camera Transport, my crew chief unit. There's a lot of people, McDonald Oil Field Operations, they're new. We're happy to have them on board, and, uh, yeah, it's been a good couple uh, last few weeks, that's for sure. Starting 11th, did you think you were going to make your way to the top five as quick as you did? Well, I mean, I, I thought we had a pretty good car, I mean, even before the race started. Our heat race, I mean, we kind of started at the back and had a tough heat and just couldn't quite get up through there. But, uh, I mean, I felt confident in the top five. I didn't know if we could get to the lead, but uh, I figured we had a top five run. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, really good for us tonight. Did you see Stormy's spoiler flapping in the wind back there, and did you think that would have any effect on the finish of the race tonight? Well, I saw on that restart it was, you know, hanging off, but I thought mine might have been too because I got in the wall early in the race and uh, kind of had to regroup after that. But, uh, yeah, I definitely wasn't helping him for sure. But, uh, yeah, I was too free up on the bottom, but I had to, you know, if I could momentum keep the car straight on the top and kind of hit that little bit of moisture off turn four, it was pretty good. Well, Stormy Scott, you come away with a second-place finish here tonight, led many laps here at Lakeside Speedway, good performance. But looking at the car here, do you think the spoiler had any effect on the finish tonight? Oh, I mean, I'm not going to say that I'd have won if I'd have had it, but, I mean, it definitely hurt us huge. When I when I hit it, I could feel, I thought maybe I knocked the right rear quarter off or something. It was just got really loose in and then, you know, killed the traction pretty bad. But uh, from the looks of it and stuff, the way the feature went, it didn't look like even if we would have had it, uh, he was gonna, we were going to win anyways because uh, I don't know if we're doing NASCAR now and we just have tear-off cautions or what, but we had a tear-off caution and then, Another caution that just, if maybe it was a caution, but I don't know, it just, we just seemed to be getting uh, messed around with. But, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, thanks to all my guys. Uh, definitely thank you. Thanks to all my sponsors. And uh, we'll go try to get them again tomorrow. You're putting together some solid finishes here. Uh, even though you're not in victory lane, I know that's got to be uh, meaningful to you going into the heart of the season now. Yeah, we've been kind of off a little bit the last couple weeks between that and you know just dumb stuff happening but uh you know i think hopefully we definitely had i feel like the winning car tonight you know we just needed some breaks and uh you know i think we're in the right direction so we'll just you know try to get some luck and uh hopefully we can get one tomorrow